Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Donald in Coventry said he thought this hail was coming down so hard it was going to bust right through his skylight there. You can see it accumulating on the ground, bouncing all over the place. Even though it was hot outside today, we ended up setting a daily record high temperature. These thunderstorms reached all the way up into the atmosphere. You can see that here from Justin Zapari. This was from Cromwell. This is obviously a time lapse, but really mesmerizing to watch and those thunderstorms ended up climbing so high that they reached into an area of sub freezing temperatures and every time that hailstone is kind of lifted by the updraft of the thunderstorm it puts on another layer around that hail and I think that does a really good job of kind of showing it this is from Sam Sagnella in Middletown you can actually see each layer of super cooled water droplets being deposited onto that hailstone eventually leading up to quarter size hail in Middletown, Coventry and Killingly. Those were the towns that were hit particularly hard by hail today. Taking a look at where we go from here. Nothing like that as we head through the evening. I know there's a lot of people whose pets or kids don't like to hear thunder, and I think the thunder threat is diminishing pretty quickly out there. Can't rule out one or two spots, though. We still have a couple areas of showers right now along the Connecticut shoreline. We also have this band of showers coming in, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was some thunder associated with this, but it continues to weaken as it moves farther south into this chilled air after a very hot day day. Here's a look at those temperatures across the state earlier. Clearly 94. That was the new daily record high temperature for the Hartford area. 91 in Meriden and 80s right down to the Connecticut shoreline. Now we are in the 60s to around 70 degrees and we're looking at overnight lows that will drop into the upper 50s to right around 60 as we head towards daybreak. But the number doesn't move very much tomorrow. So we go from 59 to 62 all day long. We're going to start the day off with a lot of clouds and we might break for some sunshine as we head through the afternoon. I did want to mention during the day tomorrow there is a slight chance for a shower in the morning, although I think much of the day is dry. So if you do have outdoor plans, I think you're good to go, but you will definitely encounter those cooler temperatures. Here's a bit of that break in the cloud cover towards the end of the day and we are cautiously optimistic about Sunday. A storm that's offshore tries to back its rain into Connecticut, but it may end up just missing us. It's still a really, really close call. So check back in with the forecast during the day tomorrow. But for now, we have the forecast dry with partly cloudy skies and high temperatures in the low to mid 60s. So we'll see if that storm wants to come any closer to us. It'll definitely have an impact on next week, though, because it doesn't move very much. So it'll bring us the chance for off and on showers and notice cooler than average temperatures. This doesn't look like the first, you know, full week of June seven day forecast, guys.